Alright, what's going on guys and girls? My name is Cameron and today we are doing another YouTube video. I'm sorry it's been so long, things have been really hectic um, with my move and everything for work, all sorts of stuff. So, uh, but we're back, we're gonna try to finish up our YouTube, uh, YouTube video search application. Um, and I know, I know you guys are gonna be a little peeved because we're still not going to get to actually displaying results today. Um, but there's a good reason for that. Uh, I always kind of want to show different aspects of like building, right? And so uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be moving all of this functionality. So we put this uh, run search, we put this in our index.view as well as our query text. We did all that. Whereas today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be move, moving that to view X. That way, we can actually interact with uh, we can interact with query text and run search from inside of this index.view file. But we'll eventually be able to show that off here in our results uh, default view uh, layout. Um, and once again, that just gives me an opportunity to kind of show you some different functionality. So if we hop over into, let's go ahead and close everything, look into our source, go down to store, you're going to see that we have a bunch of module examples. You probably won't have this. This is left around from my testing, uh, but we'll go ahead and delete it just so that you guys can see what I do. So uh, we have all of these different uh, things in our module dash example, but we're not going to use any of those. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. And I'm going to make a new folder, and I'm just going to call it modules. I'm going to make a new file inside of the store folder called helpers.js. And inside of modules, I'm going to create a video-search.js file. Then I'm going to hop down to index.js, and you'll see that we have like import example from module example. I want to get rid of that. I want to say import video search from video. If I could search, or if I could uh, type correctly, that would be awesome. Video search. And then where example was, we're going to say video search. There we go. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go to modules video search and we're going to go ahead and set up video search. I'm going to set a couple of things because I know they're going to bug me. So we're going to set the default spacing to two and we're going to say export default. And we're going to say state. We're going to want two state properties. One is going to be query text, which you have kind of already figured out. That's what we had before. But then we're going to want results and we're just going to set that to null for now. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create some actions. The first one is going to be update query text. We're going to want commit inside of these little curly braces and we're going to put new query text, right? Now we don't really have a whole lot uh, or we're not going to do anything in here quite yet. We're going to make one more and we're going to say run search and we're not even going to type this one actually. Let's hop over to index.js. What we're going to do is we're just going to grab this from our methods inside of index.view and we're going to paste it, right? And it's yelling at us because it doesn't know what YouTube is. So we can hop back over here and we're going to grab the import and we're going to put that up at the top, All right? And there we go. But it's not going to know what that is because we are we have to go one more layer deep. So there we go. It would help if I had access to uh, the webpack to webpack uh, so that I could set that up and I could just say like at providers slash help or slash YouTube. But I uh, if I do I haven't quite figured that out yet. So uh, until then we're doing relative. All right, and we're eventually going to change this, but for right now so that you can see that we're actually getting results. We're just going to do it like this. Eventually, we'll update. Um, but the next thing that we need to do is we need to create our mutations. We're going to say update query text. Let's 
going to take state and new value. I'm going, I got to put that space there for our standard. And then we're going to say state.query text equals new value. There we go. Awesome. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to hop over, let's hop back into index.view really quick and tidy up some things. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all of this. We don't need this anymore, right? And we're actually going to get rid of the B model. And instead, we're going to say value equals query text. So essentially, instead of actually having it like two way, right, to where it's uh, to where when we make a change, not only does it display, but it also changes it. We're just going to display it this time. So that's that's what we're doing here. Uh, and then we're going to say at input. So we're we are hooking into the input event and we're going to say update query text with dollar sign event so every time uh, we're going to get whatever that event is so in this case it's going to be when we uh, press a key and it's going to capture that key and it's going to send that to our update query text which we have right here uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to say commit update query text this is inside of our video search. Uh, we're going to pass it this new query text. So now this will get passed to our mutation, and our mutation will in turn change our query text. Uh, if we didn't do it, do it the mutation way, we just like gave this like state, and then said basically do this here inside of this, it would yell at us as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hop over to helpers. And we're gonna do a, we're gonna set this file up. So let's go ahead and change indent spacing to two. And we are going to go ahead and say import. We want to map state and map actions. We're gonna import those from UX. The next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to export const search getters and I missed an equal sign here we're gonna say map state uh, there we go and then we're gonna do query text state state dot video search dot query text and then we're going to do uh, results the same way. State.videosearch.results. There we go. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do our actions. So export const search actions. And you're probably wondering why we're doing all, the, all of this. And it's going to become very clear here in just a minute. So we're going to do map actions as an array. We're going to do update query text and uh, run search. And actually, I'm going to leave update query text out really quick. I'm just going to save it that way. Now, you're prob probably, you, you may already be ahead of me, but what I want to go ahead and do is I want to go ahead and run this. So we're going to do yarn dev dash m electron. Let that run really quick in our Electron app. So I'm, I'm purposefully setting up some errors here so that uh, so that you guys can see like why we did everything that we just did. So you're gonna see we have one the relative module was not found. So that was not the error that I was trying to set up, but it's a good example of. Uh, we want to say modules. There we go. All right. So now what we want to do is let that finish compiling, doing its thing, builds our Electron app. And property or method query text is not defined. Well, why is that? We just told helpers to we just gave that to helpers to map the state of our video search here, but what's going on? Well, in order to access that, we actually have to do 
import search getters and search actions from our store helpers. There we go. So uh, clear that. And you will notice that we aren't going to have any. We are still having the issue is not defined on the instance. Why is that? Well, now we have to actually drop down and say in our computed search getters. So we have to tell it, hey, I want all of those. So we're going to update. And as you can see, we don't actually get the error anymore. So let's type in um, electron. Oh, look at that. Update query text isn't. So you probably guessed it already, but we have to get all of our search actions as well. So let's come back and app is recompile our app is recompiling. So let's do electron JS and update query text is not a function. So this is actually what I was talking about initially. I kind of set myself up to fail. So I'm going to clear this and let's just back it up, it does it again, right? So the issue with this is, is I have to come back to helpers, and this is why I, I did that, because I wanted you to see that's what we were doing here. We're making that available, right? So now that we've not only import, now that we have everything in our, both our search getters and our search actions, uh, and we've told, we've told index.view, hey, I want to import those, uh, and we're referencing them in both computed and methods. Now we can do electron JS. You'll notice I'm not getting any issues here. Now if I hit enter, we are console logging just like we did in the last video. So in the next video, we're going to actually take this, reference it, and uh, we're going to list out our titles and you're probably noticing, oh, look at that. These aren't relevant either. Uh, so I'm, I'm getting a little ahead of, ahead of myself, and I'll come back to that in just a second. In the next video, what we're actually going to be doing is displaying these titles in our sidebar, which we don't have. I need to update that really quick. So let's hop over to default, and you're going to notice like I have all this stuff here. One thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this header and I'm going to put it outside and that will become more clear as to why I'm doing that in the next video. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to say v dash modal equals, I'm going to say drawer open. And we're going to, inside of data here, we're going to return, I need to do it this as a method, not as, there we go. Uh, we're going to do drawer open true. There we go. So that's going to recompile really quick. And in the next video, we're going to be displaying those titles here, and they'll be clickable. Uh, and then after that, we'll go ahead and in the last video, we'll display them here. So basically, why those, why those aren't relevant? Currently, why those uh, why these titles that we had aren't relevant wherever they are. Uh, let's rerun our search really quick. Why these aren't relevant is because we're essentially we're running a search, but it's not. It's basically getting nothing, right? So we're in video search. Uh, in, so we're doing this dot query text, right? But it's not getting anything. So what we have to do here is we have to pass in state. And then instead of this, we say state.querytext. So now, after that re, uh, redoes, after that recompiles, what we're going to do is we're going to say electron.js, run it again, and traverse media uh, electron stuff, right? So essentially exactly what we did before. Uh, like I said, reiterate, in the next video, we're going to be taking that and moving that into our results. And depending on how long that video is, we may or may not display the video, but uh, yeah, that's the plan. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, little self-promotion, don't forget, uh, check out my Patreon. The link will be down in the description below. Leave a like if you like the video, 
dislike the video if you didn't like it, but also leave me a comment telling me why you didn't like it, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.